Hello there, in this video I'd like to explain you more about the programs you should use when you want to learn video animation or maybe more about 3D. In this video I'm showing you some gameplay of GTA 5 because that's better to watch than a black or white screen and only hearing my voice. If you're only interested in one specific subject, like only 3D or video, then you can skip through that part. Click on the buttons at the bottom of the video. Alright, let's go! Let's start with the video part. So there are tons of software where you could edit your videos with. The question is, where do you want to use the software for? If you only want to cut and paste your video clips to one night's video, you can almost use any kind of video software to do that for you. From Windows Movie Maker to Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere. In my case, I'm using Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. In Adobe Premiere, I edit my video footage to get one nice video with audio on it. In After Effects, I do as the name itself says, the effects for my videos, or animations, motion graphics, or intros and all that kind of stuff. Um, you could also do it in Premiere, but that's a bit more complicated and to do it in After Effects is way faster, because After Effects got more advanced options on that kind of uh, subject. You have to see it as cars. There are so many cars out there, but they've all got their own cons and benefits. For example, you've got the off-road car that is specialized in off-road. You've got the sport cars that's more specialized in speed, and you've also got the family cars that specialize for space to fit more people to travel with. The most common video editing software used on the market is the one from Adobe. Most companies work with Adobe and it has become one of the industrial standards. If you're already using Adobe Photoshop, then definitely go work with Premiere and After Effects, because these programs are working damn great together. So yeah, I just told you about Adobe has become one of the industrial standard, but what kind of software do they use in the Hollywood industry? Um, to answer that question, in the Hollywood industry they are not focusing on one program most of the time. They have got their own software to do specific stuff. For compositing they use Nuke or Avid. And they, those two software are basically the main Hollywood industry um, software they are using. So uh, remember what you can do in After Effects is also possible in Sony Vegas. Sometimes it's just more complicated because like in After Effects you've got some plugins and tutorials to work with a lot more than in other programs like Sony Vegas. Uh, a thing that I see a lot of people are doing wrong is they edit their entire video within After Effects. Save yourself so much time and go edit your video then in Premiere. And if you don't have the money for Premiere then use Final Cut Pro or Windows Movie Maker. And any program is better than you using one specific program like After Effects, it just making no sense and you can spare a lot of time if you just do the things in a program that they are, well, making for. So uh, what I try to explain, use After Effects for just the effects and not for your entire video, then use another program. Alright, enough about the video part, let's go 3-dimensional! For 3D software, applies the same thing as for the video software. Also in this case, you think by yourself, what do you want to make in 3D? You don't need to specialize in one specific subject, uh, excuse me, I mean software, uh, but you have to use the kind of software for the final result you want to get. One tip, if you're just new, you go work with Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D has, in my opinion, the best and the most friendly interface, and it's very easy to understand. If Cinema 4D is too expensive, you maybe could try a student version, or maybe just try a trial. I had a lot of fun while practicing in Cinema 4D and I'm still using it for different things. Most of the time I render my stuff in Cinema 4D um, because I like the render engine and I animate motion graphics. Of course, you guys always see my videos in Cinema 4D and After Effects and these motion graphics are most of the time done in Cinema 4D. So let me tell you a, difference, uh, a few different in 3D software and where you could use them for. To start with Cinema 4D. So this software is great for motion graphics, uh, learning 3D and making low polygon projects. The second software is a, uh, Autodesk Maya. This software is a bit more complicated but it has a way more advanced modeling technique so you can model a bit better in Maya than within Cinema 4D. Also the rigging and UV mapping is a little bit better in Maya and a great thing in, about Maya is they are getting also motion graphic options in the future, so they are working on it. In a new expansion they've got some motion graphics, so they will kick Cinema 4D their ass, but well, it just have to take some time. We will see how that goes. So yeah, uh, the third program is called 3DS Max. They're, they are from the same company as from Maya, 
Um, this software is well, basically the most used software for architecture and furniture and all that kind of stuff. If you like that, then go check out 3 is next. The fourth program uh, I'm working with is called ZBrush. With this program you're able to give details to your objects or you can just create, create cool creatures or characters. But only use ZBrush if you also got a drawing tablet because working with a mouse is horrible and the program is made for people with drawing tablets. So yeah, these programs are the most common programs as I know. Um, if you don't have the money for these expensive uh, programs, then you could try also Blender or SketchUp. Um, they can do the same as the other programs, but in my opinion, they are also a little bit different to use, or maybe not that friendly to use as Cinema 4D. And you don't always get the results you want, like sometimes the render results are mm, just bad. Um, but maybe that also has to do because these programs are free, like Windows Movie Maker is also not as great as Adobe Premiere. Uh, to answer the same question as the video part, what kind of software do they use in the Hollywood industry or well in the gaming industry? Um, if it comes to 3D, the most used program in industrial standard is Maya. Uh, that's also because my creators can script the program uh, in a language called Python. Uh, this way they can make their unique stuff and that's a big thing in the, in the industry. Like they can um, script their own riggings so you don't have the standard rigs. And next to 3D programs there are also programs that are focusing on texturing, rendering, physics like liquids. They are using RealFlow to do things like water or other liquids. Um, don't go with RealFlow if you don't understand the 3D software, the modeling software. Go first learn normal basic 3D, then go further. Just start small and pick a program that fits with you. I hope I could explain you a little bit more about the subject. It's so huge and big so I could not talk about everything. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just drop a comment in the comment section and I'll respond as soon as possible. Hey, that was it, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!